The Olden World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 315 Welcome Wagon Maple! With an explosive kick, Amber leapt clear from the riverbank to the side of the ship, struggling and climbing up the last bit of hull when her jump fell short. She tackled Maple to the ground with a giant hug, spraying water everywhere and grinning like a lunatic. You back! <laughs> she giggled, squeezing tightly with her forelegs. After everybody said Ironridge decided to choose the last week to explode, me and Willow have been worried to death about you. So I'm kind of gross right now. I've been up around the clock fixing Gerard's boat so I could come look for you, but you're back! Ah, uh, Maple struggled limply. Amber, too tight! Heh. <laughs> Amber stepped back, scratching her neck with an oily hoof covered in water and black stains. Glad to see you didn't get caught up in whatever was going on, though. And Starlight, you're fine, too, and, uh... Her mouth went slack for several seconds as she stared at Valet. Wow, you're exotic, she finally managed. What are you? Some kind of Pegasus? Valet kept a straight face, raising an eyebrow back at Amber. She's a new friend, Maple started to explain, though she stopped when she realized Amber wasn't listening. Valet arched her eyebrow higher. Those are some wandery eyes you've got there. Uh, <laughs> Amber blushed, grinning apologetically. Sorry, I've never... Valet waggled her brow, emphasizing that it was as high as it could go. Amber burst her lips in realization before forcing her face into a ridiculous mask of stoicism and raising an eyebrow of her own. Valet grinned slyly. Amber grinned back. Maple held her head in her hooves. This isn't how I imagined my homecoming would go. Oh, whoops! Valet wiped her expression back to normal, turning and leaning on the railing. Yeah, sorry to hog your reunion, Iron Flags. But hey, we should hang out later, she added to Amber. Iron Flags? Amber glanced curiously from Valet to Maple. Is she talking about you? How'd you get that nickname? She is, and it's the worst nickname ever, Maple moaned, still cringing. I don't even remember where it came from. Yeah, neither do I, Valet shrugged. So, what do we do now? Starlight glanced at her. You can do whatever you want. Maple's been waiting forever to see her friends, though, so we're probably going to do that. Hey, yeah, Amber added. We could go crash Willow's place. I'm sure she wouldn't mind being woken up for this. Maybe not for a full celebration, but I can wait for the morning. Or afternoon at this rate. What are you girls doing up so late? Just wanted to be up to see me. This is a beautiful boat, by the way. I thought they didn't have any anymore in Ironridge. Maple let out a long, wistful sigh, looking regretfully at Amber. It's a long story. But Amber, we did get caught up in everything that happened. All three of us almost died multiple times. I, at least, am not okay. And before we do any sort of celebrating, I need a lot. Right now, I feel more strained than I have in over a year. The euphoria visibly drained from Amber's face, leaving her jaw hanging yet again. Maple, what happened? How can I... She never got a chance to finish. The stern door to the cargo hold blew open, and Gerardo skidded out, posing dramatically. Ah, Riverfall at last. I, Gerardo Guillaume, Griffin Adventure Extraordinaire, have returned. Hey, buddy. Amber winked half-heartedly at him. I missed you too, but right now Maple is... Gerardo interrupted yet again. Miss Amber. He strode forward, extending a balled-up talon for a hoof pump. It feels like we parted ways just yesterday. I must admit, I'm looking forward to regaling you with tales of what happened. Ironridge was every bit the adventure I expected, with dramatic combat and political showdowns, and he, too, was interrupted as a tiny magical crystal encased his beak. Maple and Ember were talking, Starlight growled. Valet stepped back, having reached out her wing to silence the griffin on her own. Yeah, says the griffin who never actually fought anyone. Tell me how romantic Unridge is when it comes this close to killing you, and until then, let the ladies talk. Maple flashed her a grateful smile, but Amber just looked confused. Wait, hold on, what's happening? We... it was... Uh, Maple shuddered, glancing hopefully to Starlight and Valet. Valet nodded, stepping up. The short version is, Valet said, 
Iron Ridge is a dumpster fire and always has been, and apparently Birdo here was hauling around some crates that were the trigger for a war that blew up half the city's economy and everything it had to export with. These two got sucked in, half because of bad luck and half because they kept hanging around important folks like Birdo here and me. Everyone's alive now, if a little injured. She scratched at the bandages around the wings she re-injured against Herman. We've also got this snazzy broken airship that also floats, a hoof full of other dudes who tagged along, and maybe some other stuff. I don't remember. Amber looked speechless. That's pretty much what happened, Maple sighed. Um, I don't know. I think I'll be all right. I'm already better than I was. It took us almost a day to get here after we left. What I need is to talk with you, talk with Willow, tell you everything that happened, and wake up in my own bed and cook breakfast and let it be in the past and start feeling normal again. I hope. Also, all of us got up right when the sun was setting, Starlet added. Everything happened at night in Iron Ridge, so we're not sleepy. I sure am tired, though, Maple countered. Which isn't the same as being sleepy, but... I got to find out what Gerardo's string sapping sword feels like. It's horrible, and I can still barely stand on my own. Amber blinked several times. I, uh... She glanced over the railing. Well, I do need to get cleaned up. Does this boat have a place for you girls to stay, or do you want to go to Willow's tonight or in the morning? Or you could stay here, or I could walk you back to your old house. I kept it just the way you left it, so all your old stuff should still be there. Anything is fine, Maple murmured. I'm just glad to see you again. I've been up for a while, so maybe I can get some sleep. I'd love to see Willow, too, but now that I'm here, I can wait. Right. Amber moved back toward the railing, lifting a hoof and preparing to jump to shore. Well, I'm actually tired right now, so if you got a place to be here and don't mind, let's leave stuff till morning. I'm gonna go wash up and then maybe I'll be back and sleep next to your bed for old time's sake, just in case. See you soon, Vo. Bye. With a leap and a thud and a pounding of hooves against concrete. With a leap and a thud and a pounding of hooves against concrete. She was gone. End of chapter 315